Okay, here's an HP 34C calculator. This one was made back in around 1982. I think they were built from the late 70s into the early 80s. Uh, it's a pretty powerful calculator, and this calculator has an integration function, if you can see it right here. Uh, this one I bought on eBay, and uh, it had a problem with the uh, power. It didn't power up, and I knew that when I bought it, so I got a good deal on it. And I took it apart and I fixed the flex circuit. Here's a picture of that flex circuit. Now what happened here was this flex circuit uh, had corroded because of the batteries, which is pretty common. And uh, so what I did is I, I peeled off the outer layer of the flex circuit and scraped it down to the traces and used some 30 gauge Kynar wire to make the connection from the power board uh, to the main circuit. And that worked pretty good. So we have this, uh, we have a working HP 34C now. Also, this one didn't have a battery, so I uh, wedged in some AA batteries and a piece of aluminum foil to make the series connection. So here we have a 34C. This is a great little calculator. And what I'm going to do here is show you how to use the integration function. So how this works is you make a program that does the function, and then you run the integrated integration function uh, with the limits of integration in the X and Y register. So what I'm going to do is a simple little function here. I'm going to just, uh, let's do something very simple, uh, 0, 1, 2, and in this function it's just going to return uh, the X register. So we're going to end up with, the function is just going to be like this. 1 to 5, I keep breaking my pencil there, 1 to 5, and we'll do just, we're just going to put an F, an X in there. And how this is going to work is, this is going to be our program, and these are limits of integration which will key into the X and Y register. So this function is real simple, it's just going to return the X value, so we're just going to get a line like that. And we can calculate this manually to test our integration function. So what we're going to look for is area under the curve here, this, this area here. So we're going to do that by uh, making little rectangles. All the way up to 5. So this one will be 1, this is 2, 3, and 4. And notice we have some triangles here. So these two together is 1, and these two together is 1. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 12. That should be our answer. So let's try that here. Let's start with a program, and we're going to go into program mode. And let's clear the program, which is right there. And we're going to start with a label. Let's make it A. And the only thing this program is going to do is return the X value. So all we have to do is put a return in there. So that's our program. Now we'll go back to run. Now what we're going to do is we're going to key in the limits of integration. If you'll notice uh, right here, this is X and Y. Y is the lower boundary and X is the top. So I'm going to key in 1, enter, and 5. And then we're going to do the integration function. And we're going to select this function, which is label A. And you can see it working there. It's working away. There we go. There's our answer of 12. So that's how to use the integration function on an HP 34C.